Albert House is a one-stop shop for the parents of children and adults who have severe learning disabilities. We're here five days a week, 10 well three, it's a drop-in. Whoever comes through these doors goes out feeling better. I've seen despair, laughter, sadness, every emotion that you can think of. And personally, it gave me so much in my own life and made me realise what my life was about. Um, I've been coming to Talbot House for about 14, 15 years now. It's been a lifesaver for me. Um, I've got a daughter with complex needs. She's got something called Prader-Willi syndrome. Um, basically, she'll, she could eat herself to death if the kitchen cupboards weren't locked. Um, I knew nothing about special needs until I came here. We have a motto, get mum and dad said okay and the kids will be okay. Because if your mum and dad was okay, you was okay. So we deal with everything. We relieve the caring for today. And we have a philosophy here in life is like, you might have a lot to deal with, but you can come in here and you can shout and scream, you can cry and no one judges you. I've taken on the project for the older carers over 50, which is where my heart is, really where my heart is. Being a carer, you get isolated in the community. And Talbot House actually helps you to mix with people. Um, when you become isolated, you just think you're the only one um, that's got a disabled child, that looks after a disabled child the way you do. But here, under this roof, we can laugh, we can cry, we can share, and whatever's said in here, stays in here. So what might be shocking to somebody outside is not shocking to us, because we've been there, we've done it, and we know how each other's feeling. And we do want our parent carers, especially our elderly parent carers, to grow old, be happy, be contented, knowing that their adult child is going to be looked after in a way that they want them to be looked after and we'll help them achieve that. For Talbot House, I was ready to die. To die. Because I was lonely, frustrated, thought I had nobody to turn to, thought I was the only person in the world with a disabled kid. And then I found another parent who knew exactly, not nearly, exactly how I was feeling. And that was the key. Somebody else knew what I felt. Somebody else was there for me. With the best will in the world, people can empathize. But if you're not living it, you don't know it.